fight this cloud monster and um yeah they walk across the other side to the big time castle in the sky the main villain here i guess the biggest villain of them all uh what do he call himself i know he's supposed to be king the conqueror um he who remains okay yeah he who remains and he's not what you think he would be he's more of a guy who's tired of doing his job um almost really tired of living i guess <laughs> right i mean he is he's he's getting old he's tired of doing this managing a timeline that he's created um and his character kind of felt like willy wonka um <laughs> He got like some Jesus vibes going on, right? I've been known by many names, um, right? He kind of get he gave this all knowing presence. Um, he wore the purple cape, <laughs> <laughs> um, and he was kind of goofy. Um, and he essentially his his all knowingness um, created this um, device where he was able to jump through different timeline realities. He's a very smart person, and once he found out how to do this he ran into himself in other timelines and himself in other timelines were also very smart and they also created this device and they teamed up and made accounts for themselves a lot like rick and morty i didn't watch this most recent season i haven't watched in a while um i need to get on that you have you ever seen rick and morty i have not seen any episodes no well it's actually well i mean if you're gonna watch Rick and Morty, don't look into the creator because he has like a questionable past and it's like, do I wanna support this guy? I don't know. <laughs> He's not the best, I'll leave it at that. But he does have a very funny mind that's usually appropriate. But again, don't look into his past. It'll ruin the show. That's why I stopped watching it. Um, <laughs> but if he... <laughs> it's, okay, yeah, all right. Some weird, he's in some weird stuff. Um, Dang, but, it makes it more interesting. It's, it, it does, but then you find out what it is and it's like, oh, I don't, I wish I never knew this. Um, but anyway, <laughs> there's Rick and Morty and really it's based off of Doc and Marty from Back to the Future. Old guy with all this tech and the young guy sidekick. Um, but Rick is so smart and traveled the galaxy so many different times and ways. There's a council of Ricks um, that come together, rule the universe as one, um, and there are Ricks who disagree with this council, um, like any other governing body, but essentially it's all the same person, different entities. Um, so I found it interesting that this show, I don't know who did it first. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess technically did in the comics and, and Marvel first, but um, it was interesting that, that we saw it this way. But essentially he had met himself on different timelines um, and they worked together and there was peace. Um, but then they realized, well, I need to make sure my timeline is good, that it doesn't end. I like my family, I like my life, I like all these things. And um, we found out that some of the timelines aren't as nice as other timelines. So they begin to fight until one person win, win, wins, wow. until one person <laughs> wins um, of all of these super intelligent beings. And then you end up with the, um, the one who knows all, we find to be Kang the Conqueror. Um, yeah, he, he also uses that cloud monster to be like the difference maker. Yes, that's right. He he um, charges him with that. But he monitors the timeline to make sure that his is the sacred timeline and the only one that survives. But he's tired of doing this. He is like literally ancient because of the knowledge that he's absorbed. It's unclear how old he actually is, but he's from the future because that's when he was able to discover the device. But He's learned and studied all of his different variants um, and defeated them, which makes his knowledge a burden at this point. Um, and he has constructed the timeline in a way that when these two Lokis meet, they come to him and then it's over. He stopped figuring out what happens next. He's waiting on that Nexus event to see what happens. Um, and obviously Sylvie's very mad and they, they duel it out. Um, she ah, wants to kill him. Not that interesting. Loki doesn't. The fight. <laughs> the fight. The fight to end all fights. I, I didn't think it was that interesting. Oh, do you think the fight was that good? Well, I mean, most of the fighting in here wasn't really that interesting. At That's least to me. It was more about magic. <laughs> yeah. But also, you, you got to explain that he offered them a deal. So he did. 
either they take over his spot and they start doing all of the timekeeping and keeping up with the timelines or they kill him and it starts all over again there'll be more Kang the Conquerors out there who will come back and do the same thing right because he's been keeping them at bay um, but if he's gone, they'll have to fight again in this endless war. Um, and Loki wants to run the timeline and Sylvie does not. She wants to kill Kang because she thinks he's full of crap and it's all made up. Um, and there's no way this is possibly true. Um, and she succeeds. She does in fact kill him. And then everything is broken. Um, but when she does that, she sends Loki back with that device to the TVA and everything has changed. Well, not everything has changed. Really, everything goes back to normal, but it's just a new normal. Um, and, <laughs> um, and no one knows what's happened. Yeah. And also, I guess another form of Kang is now r- ruler of something. At the TVA, there were statues of the uh, timekeepers in like the middle part of I guess the building or I don't even know how to even say how large that place was or what to even call it I don't know it (laughs) felt like an infinite space that was just offices and a library (laughs) yeah but now that statue that was with the timekeepers has now been replaced with a statue of King the Conqueror or one form of him and nobody remembers who anybody is um Mobius, he shows up. He doesn't know who Loki is. Uh was one of the was it Hunter B15? Was she there? Yeah, I think Hunter B15 was like, yeah, what's up, variant? Like, you're <laughs> Loki, get get back to work. Like, what are you doing? And he's all confused. He's like, What are you talking about? What work? And then we zoom out and we have what I think is like the Planet of the Apes moment. Not new, not Dawn of the Age, the new stuff, the old stuff. If you remember, whenever the humans come back and they think they're on Earth and they zoom out and you see Ape Lincoln, like the statue is a picture, is an ape, but it's it's Ape Lincoln, um, that statue, like in different universe. I wish they would have picked up the series there instead of starting over, but it's fine. I'm sure they made lots of money. Um, but they zoom out and the TVA is no longer those three fake statue heads but instead it's a statue that looks like Kang the Conqueror so this Kang could care less about if you know who he is because he is proud yeah Um, and I guess the time the timekeeper has been replaced with somebody much worse Um, and now this is kind of like an infinite series of events that can really happen. Um, I'm not sure what happens next after this. I mean, almost anything can happen. Yeah, almost anything can happen. And of course, we have the multiverse of madness movie coming <clears throat> so far away, but so soon. Um, is it really far away? I th- is it, it's not this year, is it? I think it's next no, year. no, definitely not. Yeah, I think it's next summer or something like that, or next fall. Um, but. Um, you have all this happen and then you hear in real life that I think Loki gets at least one more season if not two more seasons and I think that's because I'm not sure if Kang the Conqueror is going to show up in the movies or not but because of the nature of time and time travel and infinite possibilities I mean there could be this show could last forever because (laughs) anything is possible you know yeah, I mean, yeah, it's possible. And also, Doctor Strange comes out in March. So, not March. too far away. It'll be here before you know it. It's not too far away. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to be featured on our podcast, make sure to click the link in the description.